Hi everyone, today we're back on the Xbox with a proper maintenance business. Today's a big day, we're getting a new shop for the company. We're going to be building it and moving all the equipment in. All the mods featured in today's video can be found on the in-game mod hub and if you want to see more hit the like button it's much appreciated. I'm just stopping by the gas station to fill up on diesel here. It has been a busy few days here for us. We got the old shop all cleaned out. We got all the equipment over to the new property and we need to build the shop here which is super exciting. Now with this move I decided to sell several things here. The big excavator, a few trucks and just really kind of lower our overhead while only keeping the machines and equipment that uh, are going to keep us productive here. So it's uh, going to be a win-win. Although we might be downsizing a little bit, we are downsizing to really speed up, which is super exciting here. And we do have some new and improved vehicles here. So we kept the backhoe. We have the uh, two skid sears that JCB tracked. And the Lizard 863 here, but we got a new truck here. So sold a few of the trucks and picked up a Silverado 3500 uh, Dually. This thing looks sweet. We also did keep the Deer Excavator here along with the Utility Trailer and the TLX Diesel Dump Truck. So that is it. And like I mentioned, a smaller fleet of uh, machines and trucks is going to keep us going. And uh, we'll still be able to do the same jobs here. But here it is, guys. We have a half acre lot here in town. And we are going to be building the shop here. And uh, we'll be putting gravel around it. I do want a pressure washer and a fuel tank uh, to help us on out here. So let's get to work on getting the new shop here. Here's a new shop. It's built in, ready to go here. So the, with this shop, guys, it is about like a 40 by 35 here. And I decided to do two separate garage door sizes. So we have a 10 foot door and then we have a 16 foot door, which will be perfect if we want to buy like a big excavator or something in the future here. But we don't really need too big of a shop. And I thought this would do the trick here for us. We could get the backhoe, get all those machines inside here, which will work out here for so I'm thinking we'll probably put the mowers off to this side we'll put the excavator backhoe and skid loaders off over here and hopefully we could fit a truck or two inside but now guys it's time to get all the equipment moved in and we'll see how it all fits in the new shop you guys might be asking square what types of jobs does the proper maintenance business do we do landscaping lawn care excavation snow removal and we do some road repairs and things like that so i mean we are kept busy with this company and uh, having the right uh, tools the right machines are the way to go here for us but revamping the series i think is a great way uh, to kind of uh, uh create some more uh, cool videos and we are still on uh, the griffin indiana map i still see a lot of potential to make cool videos on this map and you guys will be seeing some pretty cool ones It looks like we're going to have plenty of room in here. Perfect. So we'll put probably both skid sears along the back wall here. Now I did decide to change it up here with a, a Lizard 863. Instead of having tracks, I much prefer the wheels. I think it just looks a little bit cooler even. So that is what we did. It's just a few minor changes on some of the machines. Uh, and uh, that is going to work out great. But now that I'm thinking about it, I actually want to put the excavator on that back wall. So why don't we put the uh, skid sear just right behind the other skid sear. Oh yeah, it would work fine. We'll put the trailers off to the side here. And like I mentioned, guys, 
this a Silverado Dually. This is new for us and that's super exciting. It's always cool to get some new trucks here, especially this one. I really do like the dually on it. We'll be able to tow. Even if we need to bring the backhoe out of town for a job, this should do it. I know later on today I do have to give a few quotes here, so we are going to be busy even after uh, we are done getting the new shop uh, all put together here. We are in between jobs, and uh, that is kind of what helps us on out here. We just finished the in-ground pool, and we did some work for the farmer, so uh, it's good to take a little bit of a break from all those jobs and really get the shop ready to go. Otherwise, trying to do a job uh, during the week along with uh, getting the shop ready to go is just too much for us uh, plus all the billing and paperwork we have to do in the office so it works out that we're doing this now when it's time to move you realize just how much stuff you own and that's kind of what ended up happening I started to pack up the tools, workbenches, everything like that, and I just decided to list a lot of it on the marketplace here. Uh, some extra like push mowers, string trimmers, I mean everything that we just had extra sitting around the shop. I said, hey, why don't we end up selling it? Uh, put some money back in our pocket because we aren't using it and it's just kind of collecting dust and uh, that it has made this move a lot a lot easier here which i'm super excited for it's always nice uh, to move uh, kind of get a new uh, rebuild of the series as well which is super exciting but we have plenty of room here awesome so we could still get some more machines and this shop is actually smaller than our previous one, but it's a completely different uh, setup with two doors and everything like that. But wow, guys, we did it. We got moved into the new shop. Super exciting. And we are ready to go for some upcoming projects here. The last thing I want to do is I want to uh, put this trailer just right alongside of this area here. And we'll head on home. And I do want to do some things in the home office. We're leaving for the day. That means the job is complete here. It was a long day here for us. Took a few days of planning, but we were able to get the new shop uh, all together. Got it built, got all the machines over to it, and the old shop, our lease was up on that, so the, uh, the timing did work out. But we're back home now, and I'm going to head inside to do some paperwork. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next one, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for more.